Hello, welcome to Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com. Um, what I did here, guys, is I put together what I would pretty much consider the top of the line, the most elite bow fishing setup that, that I think you can pretty much get your hands on today. Um, what we've got on the basics here, we got an Alpine Mako. This is a wonderful bow fishing bow. It's got the neat little shark look in it here. Um, it's got very low let off, which is very nice for bow fishing and shooting fingers. So, um, so I started out with it. Um, I think the reel I prefer as far as bow fishing is this Retriever Pro. Typically, uh, it's got the arrow holder on it. It's really nice. And um, this right here, this is extended, which is Mako. I could run it through here so we didn't have to zip tie it or anything. So your string, when you shoot, don't get hung up behind it and come backlash, which is very important. So this is extended if you're wondering why this is so long so your string can't ever get behind it. Um, so I got the Retriever Pro. And then we got the uh, OMP laser light, um, which the, this button will just stick right on the front here. And you can see here on the counter that it's a laser you sight it in. This laser will go down through the water and get your fish so you don't have to aim really low. It's a really neat light uh, and it works and it's effective. The problem I ran into was um, I put it on there and then I put the Pro on there and then my with its plate, um it got so far over that my clutch i couldn't reach it it was over another you know another quarter inch so my, all this stuff here was over here further a uh, whole nother thickness so that kind of aggravated me and i fixed it and i'll explain that to you in just a moment but i also got so i got the quick draw bow fish and arrow rest on here it's really slick it's uh it's the neatest one i've ever seen we sell these right off our website all these items are for sale off our website or if you want us to put one of these bows together, you can give us a call and I can get you a full total price and quote on everything and we can just put it together like you see it. Um, but this rest, arrow drops in, this is just a thick piece of rubber. It's completely contained, it's aluminum, it ain't ever going to give you any problems. And I got the OMP fingers on here as well, so they don't hurt your fingers when you're shooting. Um, oh, and I got the uh, OMP uh, carbon ended arrow on here so you can add a lumin luminock or light and knock uh, if you want it's a it takes an insert knock system so you can put in a knock if you want and this arrow has the sure shot penetrator point on it which I would totally recommend this sure shot penetrator point because if it's in the fish you can turn it and it will come off of here without ever having to loosen the point and get your get your hands all fishy and stuff so your arrows in the fish you give it a crank or two and then you can just jerk it right out and tighten it rinse it off tighten it back up and keep yourself nice and clean um, now this Mako is a 50 pound max and I do have them in right and left hand as well if you're wondering and there's draw length adjustment you don't need a bow press you just loosen this module on both both ends you have to make them set the same you loosen this rotate this around and then you get the draw link set to where you need it um, so back to this laser light deal, what I happened to do was, is I didn't like it, like I mentioned, and uh, this retriever works really good. If you've never seen it work, it's really fast and simple. And you want that clutch there handy. Uh, the reason I like it handy, if you shoot and you know you totally missed, you made a bad shot, you can grab it, kind of slow down the arrow, stop it, reel it back in so you can hurry up and get another shot ready. But what happened was, is like I said, this was so thick, so, which I don't know why OMP doesn't have this already done and machined in here in their laser light because I would think that the majority of you guys are going to be running with this laser light running uh, this retriever. But this had some grooves in it and then there was a plastic block that this went on to the bolt of the riser. So what I did is I broke out my little files and, and grinders and I and I cut those grooves into this sight plate which should not have hurt any of the structure of this laser but anyways I got these grooves in there and I got the the nut on here so we can tighten this nut up still and so now it fits right inside of there so we we brought it in at least a quarter of an inch and uh, by doing that it achieved and, and made this bow feel completely different and uh, it wasn't a fun process it took me quite a bit of time to do it but I'm when it comes to things so that probably slowed me down as well but guys you got any questions about the mako feel free to give us a call you got any bow fishing questions feel free to give us a call but it is uh it's a pretty slick deal and uh 
if you really want the best stuff and you're going out with your buddies and you want it to all look good and be nice I would I would go with this setup right here this Mako and trick it out and uh, we can take care of that for you check them out Draves Archery DravesArchery.com stay tuned subscribe to my channel thanks guys